Hi, it's Professor Davis. I wanted to talk for a few minutes on linear regression and correlation. How we can take uh, data that's in the form of ordered pairs and compute the correlation coefficient for that data and the linear regression model for it. And I thought the best way to do that was would be uh, to give you an example. So let's take a look at one of those. It says here the amount spent annually in amusement parks from 2000 to 2008 is shown in the table. So notice there uh, what I've done is I've written the years in the left hand column. I've standardized the independent variable X. I've let X be the number of years since the year 2000. So two, uh, the year 2000 corresponds to X being zero. Uh, the next year the data was available is in uh, 2004, X is four. And they go up to 2008 where X is eight. <coughs> So notice if we take a look at the data, we, for the uh, dependent variable values, the y values, so to speak, notice they increase in increments of about, well, a little bit more than a billion dollars a year. We'll find that out when we compute the correlation coefficient. So what we want to do is to determine the linear, uh, the linear regression model and the correlation coefficient for the data. So let's get our calculator here. The first thing we need to do, and we only need to do this one time, is to turn on the diagnostics that will allow us to compute the correlation coefficient when we do our linear regression model. So let me show you how to do that. Now keep in mind, like I said, you only have to do this one time and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. I'll hit the second key and then zero to get the catalog. And then we'll just scroll down till we get to the command that says diagnostic on. So I'm down at the C's now. Bear with me here. This is the hardest part of the whole process. Now there we are. See one of them says diagnostic off. We don't want that. We want the one that says diagnostic on. So I have it highlighted. I'll hit enter, hit call it up, hit enter again. Now that's all we need to do to make sure we get the correlation coefficient. Now we'll go ahead and enter the data uh, from the table into our calculator. I'll put the X values in Y1, the Y values in L2. X values in L1, Y values in L2. So I'll hit the stat key and then select edit. Now, I went ahead and took the liberty of adding, of uh, entering all those values. We just uh, put the numbers in, hit enter in between each one, and then when we get, when we get done with the X values, we scroll, scroll over to L2, put in the Y values. So we have all that done now. Now, to go ahead and compute the linear regression model and the correlation coefficient, here's all we have to do. Hit the stat key go over to Calc where we're going to calculate the linear regression. Now you might be tempted to pick out item 4 there where it says lin reg ax plus b. That's kind of like what you're used to in an algebra class where it says um, you know like mx plus b where m is the slope. That's not the one we want for statistics. We want the one that's down here that says lin reg a plus bx. That's more what we use in statistics and what you see in economics and that kind of thing. So I just go ahead and hit the enter key over linreg a plus bx. Now we'll specify the list in which we have the data. I'll go ahead and hit the second key in number one to call up L1. The x values are in L1. Hit a comma, kind of like an ordered pair. Hit the second key, number two for L2. Now notice if I go ahead and hit enter now, well that gives me exactly what we want here, isn't it? Notice here the y-intercept is at 29.61 or so. And then the slope of the regression line is 1.35 or so, 1.3575. So that tells us on average the amount spent in amusement parks was increasing at an average rate of about $1.36 billion a year. Notice the correlation coefficient is 0.933 if you round it to three decimal places and also we have the coefficient of determination r squared we'll always get that output so that's how we compute the uh, linear regression model and the correlation coefficient for a set of data